Hey guys, it's Tyler. Welcome to Let's Learn C++ Lesson 2.1. This lesson is going to be the first lesson on loops, and we're going to do the while loop today. So, let's get started. You can see that we have an integer here called x, and it's declared with an initial value of 0. And then right here we have what we call a while loop. Now, to make a while loop, you just say the word while, and then you do an opening closing parentheses, just like you would an if statement, and this is going to be your condition. Now, a while loop will continue to execute the code that's inside of the brackets here as long as this, this condition is true. So this will execute as long as x is less than 9. I'm, I, I think this is a new operator, I don't think I tell you this one, but x starts out as 0 and as long as x is less than 9 this inside code will continue to, to execute. Now what it's executing it is displaying this line, this will display 10 times, and then it's saying x plus plus. Now the plus plus operator you put after a number variable, and it, what it does is it increments the variable by 1. So if x is equal to 0, then x plus plus would add 1 to that, and you get 1 as your value. If it's equal to 3, say, then x plus plus would add 1, and you get 4. So let me show you exactly how this works. So notice how it's displayed this number of times and then it just stops. Well, let's go through and see what the value of 0 is throughout this. So on this first one, zero is or x is equal to 0. So x equals 0 on this first one. And then this line, x plus plus, increments it by 1. So now x equals 1. Now, in the while loop, 1 is less than 9. So this statement is still true. So it's going to execute this again. It's going to display it again for the second time. And it's going to increment again to 3. 3 is less than 9. Increments again, 4 is less than 9. Increments again, 5 is less than 9. 6 is less than 9. 7 is less than 9. 8 is less than 9. And then 9 is less than 9. 9 is not less than 9. Now, the reason why it does that is because it starts at 0 and doesn't start at 1. So if we start at 0, we start at 0. So it displays it while it's 0. It displays it while it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now the value right here is equal to 8. And then it increments again and rechecks. Not 9 is less than 9. That is not true. So it, does, it does, stops executing the while loop and it goes straight to cn.get where I can hit enter and it closes the program. So that's the basic use of a while loop. Now, what if I wanted to use input to control how long the while loop goes? Well, let's say character. Character C. Character C is equal to y. Now, now notice how I have apostrophes around the y. Whenever you're giving a character a value or checking a value of a character, you have, you have to put apostrophes around it. So let's say while c is not equal to... No, sorry. Let's say while c is equal to y. So while c is, is equal to y, we're going to see out, sorry, we're going to see out, would you like to play again? Take the question mark, put it, there we go. So we can have it on the same line here. And then we're going to say cn, and notice how we're putting the cn inside the while loop. cn, the variable c. And we don't need this incrementer anymore. So, would you like to play again? And it's going to give it a value. And down here, we're going to say cn.ignore to, to clear out the input buffer. So, f5, let's see what happens. So, right when the program starts, c is initially set as y. And the while loop says, while c is equal to y, execute this code. So, it's going to go ahead and automatically execute this code in here. It's going to ask for a value. We're going to say y. And it does it again. Y, 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 y. It'll go on and 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 on. And notice if I put multiple y's, it'll do it multiple times. Would you like to play again? Would you like to play again? Would you like to play again? And it just skips it because it's being transferred to, to the input. Uh, uh, it's being transferred to the next CN for the input buffer. 
just over and over and over. Uh, but that's something else. So if we can just keep putting in y, it'll keep going. Now let's say we say n, it'll stop. It'll go straight to cn.get, and it'll let us close the program. Now this also will let us, we can put in u, perhaps, and it'll do it also, because it's only checking to see if it's y. All right. Um, well, that's the basics of while loops. Now, I encourage you to experiment around with while loops to see what they'll do. You can put different stuff inside this, uh, this um, uh, condition. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it can in some way be evaluated to be 1 or 0, or true or false. As long as it can be evaluated to that, it can be used as a condition in your while loop or your if statement. So just keep in mind what we've used so far. And also keep in mind that you can nest if statements inside of a while loop. Like, if we wanted, we could put an if statement in here. With another condition. And some more code to execute. And also keep in mind that you could potentially nest a while loop inside of a while loop. In fact, programmers do it every time that they make a game. If they have a while loop to run the game and a while loop to run events and just run through the code and see what's happening with the user. It's just um, getting innovative with, with the, the basics of programming is what uh, allows you to make bigger programs. So just experiment around with it. See what happens. See how it works. Um, I, I also need to point out that uh, whenever I used x++, plus plus, it increments it by 1. There's also one x minus minus that decrements it by 1. It goes down 1. So, that's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching, guys. Tune in for the next one.